Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Oh boy, am I embarrassed to share with you what I am getting ready to share with you. I have hated this spice cabinet from the moment we moved in. I thought I had it just the way I wanted and truth be known, it is just a natural disaster. I can't find anything I want. I end up knocking things over. I have broken glass bottles. If this is just enough is enough. Kalanda, stop the insanity. And before I forget to tell you, please subscribe to this channel and comment, like, share, anything you can because I want this channel to grow and I want you to grow with me. So let's see the disaster. This is so embarrassing to me that I am showing you this. I cannot even believe. You know I love to cook. And guess what cooks like to do that love to cook? Use spices. Not only do I have spices here and here, but I have spices up there. And this is no longer working for me. So we are gonna get busy and we are going to fix this mess together. Between good old Amazon and Walmart, I think I have come up with a solution. This box holds 36 bottles, glass bottles. And they are very nicely sized. And then I was able to get two types of labels. I prefer these. And then I bought a bamboo riser, a plastic riser. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. And then two turntables. And I'm going to keep the spice cabinet. I'm gonna keep that because that really does give ample room and then I'll be able to put the turntables inside. So, I think you can see them better. You'll be able to see it once I get everything out of that cabinet. Okay, let me say that I have started and I have taken everything out of the cabinet. I have not counted how many jars I have, but I am going to try and combine and then I'll put larger items somewhere else, but I have got to have a usable and organized spice cabinet. This is ridiculous. I'm embarrassed. Now that I have taken everything else out, it is time to just clean this shelf I'm just showing you real quick with the camera and I have dust busted it and I am just trying to just swipe it. I will do the same with this plastic rack. This is very useful and I do like it. It's just not perfect for what I need. I need that and other things. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to see what the expiration date is on all of these uh, tins that I have here. I have a feeling I'm going to find some expired spices and those are going to have to go in the trash because I they lose their potency and they just do not taste as good anymore once they're past expiration date. I'm going to keep the plastic risers, but I'm going to use this plastic riser. Unfortunately, the pretty bamboo one will not fit. And then I'm going to put a turntable in the center here. And that's going to be for some very specific spices. So I think I am making headway. I just throw away 10 bottles of spices that are out of date. Everything is washed and ready to go. I have put my funnels inside the little jars. I have four different funnels and I'm gonna start transferring everything and get my, that cabinet organized. I'm so excited. As you can see, I'm making pretty good headway, but it's a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. Um, some of the things I use a lot of, and so I'm trying to decide if I want to keep those in their original containers 
or transferring them so I have just an even playing field where I can see all my spices all of the time. That is what I'm trying to figure out right now. So stay tuned. Well, as you can see, I have successfully organized this cabinet. I did decide to go ahead and leave the salt, pepper, garlic salt, things we reach for quite a bit. We are definitely grillers and this is a huge grilling section over here plus really large items that I need on a regular basis. And so, but I did go ahead and I put everything in these jars and it is in alphabetical order now so I will be able to go in and find everything that I need. And boy, do I feel organized. My sweet husband also lowered that top shelf so that I could reach the extra spices that I put up there. But you guys, I'm loving the completion of this spice rack. I just, the organization has just made me one happy camper. I love it. By the way, I tried to use the Bamboo's organizer and it did not work and neither did the plastic one. So those will go back to Walmart with the turntable. This is a huge mess over here, but this is for our RV and I'm going to put the spices that are left over here in those jars so I'll be able to find it in the RV. It's broken. Like I tried to put things on it and turn it and just not, it doesn't do any kind of turntable action. And so as you can see, this kitchen is a huge mess and I guess it's time for me to get busy and start cleaning. I really appreciate you joining me for this organization video. My next organization is going to be underneath my sink. It's not that bad, but it could be a lot better. But anyway, I hope that this has helped you and our little Ellie wants to say hello to And our little, and our little Ellie is afraid of the camera all of a sudden. She's wanted to be in the video all day. Ellie, say hi to everybody. Say thank you for joining my mommy.